Welcome back YouTube to another tutorial video on my channel. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking your Steam games and we're going to be optimizing them for Windows and for best playability on your computer specified to your computer. Usually Steam does a pretty good job of presetting this and presetting this to your computer's just needs, the processor, what the processor can handle, what your graphics card can handle, what your RAM is. A lot of the time Steam uh, auto processes that and uh, auto sets your settings. But sometimes you might need to change this. And I do recommend doing this for certain games. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this on um, Black Ops 3. You come to this page, you open up your Steam and you click Library. And you click Games and you're to here. Now you click Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3. Right click it so it opens up the drop down and click properties and then once that comes up this will open now what you do is you go to set launch options and what I do and the only ones I do are CPU count and thread count that really helps um, Black Ops 3 to uh, use all of your computers um, able uh, resources such as extra RAM, extra processors, stuff like that. So this is the way that you get games to optimize for larger cores, like more cores, such as an AMD 8 core, um, an Exeon 12 core, something like that. If you've got all this horsepower, you want to be able to use it, you got to optimize it in Steam. Um, CPU count is the amount of actual physical cores your processor has. If you don't know what that is, take your processor, go over to Device Manager, which I will be showing how to do in another video more than likely. Go to Device Manager, open it up, go to your processors, open that down, take that processor, whatever it is, and open it up and it will show you how many physical cores you have. Um, and if you don't think that's right, then type in the processor you have online. It'll tell you how many physical cores you have, and then it'll tell you whether it's hyper-threaded or not, if you don't know. i7s in current generation are hyper-threaded. Um, I believe Exeons are too. i5s are not. i3s are. Um, yeah, that's an unimportant. <laughs> that's bad timing for that to pop up. Um, yeah, you find that and you'll optimize that here. You can do everything from RAM. You can do everything from RAM to VRAM to... Um, you can even disable certain things in-game. You can disable... Do a no-splash, which removes the intro sequence and just loads the game immediately. But uh, I think the ones that truly matter are the cores and the threads. And that'll help for larger processors to use all the processor and um, you can find solutions or uh, more codes for these launch options more launch codes online all you got to do is personally what I do is I don't see a whole lot when I type in uh, steam launch option codes but what you can do is type in um, what I found a lot of them do is Daisy launch option codes because people have so many problems with optimization of Daisy um, and this also works for Daisy too, and it really helps optimize Daisy. That's the more recommended game to do this on, but I do it on Black Ops 3 just because it really seems to help with um, certain latency and issues. Um, here, let's go over to Daisy, and I might have launch options already set for this game. Yep. All right. There's my threads. The max amount of threads I have. There's the max amount of memory that I want this game to use of my system memory. There's the max VRAM of my card, so it doesn't try and go over that. That'll cause stuttering and frame rate drops. Um, the no splash is going to get rid of the loading sequence, the really annoying long black loading sequence. The no pause is going to get rid of the. Uh, I don't know why there's an and in there. The no pause is going to get rid of. Um, the pause that it takes to load so it'll just make it load smoother play a little smoother it won't make it quite as laggy so I hope this helped you um, if you liked the video leave a like rating if you didn't like the video you know what to do thumbs down um, any suggestions leave it in the comment section below and if you guys want to see more subscribe to my channel 
And until my next video, everybody on YouTube, stay cool.